sometimes when we lose something, we gain something new. So I think with hearing loss, it happens in a similar way. So let's take a look at what those things might be, like right now. So truly, um, there I go with the sews again, but I'll try to sew them out. <laughs> but anyway, yes, with hearing loss, we gained some other things that you wouldn't think would be a gift. In losing something, you gain some other things. And uh, that is, you know, I think that we are uh, good listeners because we have difficulties in having people listen to us. Uh, in, in sometimes we have to say uh, what, or can you repeat that, or, you know, and people get very frustrated with us and they don't want to have that conversation or walk away or say, um, you know, never mind. And that is very frustrating. So knowing that you know, people do that to us, then we try not to, to the best of our ability, not to do that to others. I think that we are better listeners in that sense, that we're more sensitive to the needs or what the other person is saying. And we never will pull out from our pocket that statement Never mind, <laughs> because it's done so much to us. And I think that, you know, we realize how important it is what we have to say and what others have to say. So, you know, and I think that becomes a gift. We become very good and in tuned listeners. I think the other thing that we gain from, from hearing loss is that sensitivity to what's going on around us. You know, like vibrations or just we're more in tune with, with the environment, and especially those that are underneath our feet. <laughs> when you lose when you lose hearing loss, you become more sensitive, I think, to vibrations or movement. Uh, you know, it's just the way the body adapts. And that's not a bad thing. You know, when I was uh, out visiting my family, we were all standing there in the um, hotel room doorway, and we were just talking about what we were going to do for the day. And I started feeling the, my, my scooter moving back and forth just gently. And I thought, wait a minute. <laughs> That's just not me and the scooter. The ground is moving. And I said to you know my family, I said, we're having a tremor. And my sister-in-law, who was leaning against the wall, said, Lisa's right, we're having a tremor. And it was just gentle, back and forth, back and forth. I thought, folks, we're having a tremor. You know, because it be in the beginning they weren't, they didn't stop talking. And then the second time I said it, and the third time I said it, they stopped. And they were all trying to feel what I was feeling. And, they <laughs> and I wasn't scared. It was just the fact that I felt the ground moving way before anybody else did. And we were having a tremor. It was the earthquake in, in New York, the 4.8, that went all the way up to where I was uh, with my family. It was incredible. So it traveled several states and cross borders. <laughs> I don't know what else. <laughs> but that was quite the experience that I tuned into that faster than anyone else. And I attribute that to, to my hearing loss, you know. 
Um, I think that with, with hearing loss, we become very strong visual people. You know, our, our hearing loss is, um, we hear less, so we see more. We're better observers, we watch, you know, we use our eyes more, and that's why I got new glasses. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but, but, but I think that, you know, we observe more. We observe people, we observe movement of people around us. Uh, we're just better observers in that sense. So, you know, uh, we watch crowds, we watch people moving around, uh, because we, we wanna know, what do I need to hear? So who's coming towards me to talk to me? So we, we observe, you know, our vision becomes sharper and used more uh, so we can get around in, in the world in general. So our vision, our vision increases, uh, maybe not so much if we have crappy vision, but <laughs> I get my sense <laughs> in my case, uh, but I do observe, you know, I sense that I observe people and, and what's going on around me. Um, we watch people's faces and their expressions because we want to make sure that what we heard matches uh, what they're feeling and how they're trying to communicate something. So it, it is irritating when someone tries to, you know, there are certain people who try to exaggerate their facial expressions, thinking that that's going to make the conversation better. And we do have to jump in and say, no, no, just relax and just talk normally <laughs> because we're just observing other aspects of your facial expressions. And to push or exaggerate the, the, the facial expressions that doesn't help the conversation. So, <laughs> so talk normally. Um, but we do use our vision a whole lot more. A whole lot more. Um, I think that other gifts, I'm not sure, you know, I think we become in tuned of how precious hearing is. And so we, we start, you know, with that, that behavior of, I need to take care of my hearing. <laughs> I need to go to the doctor and follow up with this. I need to, you know, for the most part, I think some people get irritated. If they get a not so good um, audiologist, then they get tired quickly and um, they, they don't want to follow through. So I think it's really important for the audiologist to be, you know, top notch or to improve their, their abilities, their skills, so that this person really wants to use hearing aids uh, to be able to continue to communicate. So I think we are good promoters of, um, you know, how important it is to follow through on hearing loss and taking care of our hearing because we've already lost it mm -hmm. and we've already, you know, struggle with the with being able to communicate. So it's it's one of those things that we we really consider, you know, hear, hearing uh, important. And especially I think the younger we are the, the more sensitive we are to the topic of hearing loss. And we promote it, we state it, you know, take care of your hearing, go to an audiologist or go to your doctor, let them know that something's up with your hearing. And uh, I think that we become very good at that. We become the promoters of hearing health. <laughs> and I think audiologists know that, um, you know, that and they teach us a little bit on how to do that so people don't get irritated with us. <laughs> so, you know, audiologists are, 
are sensitive and aware that we want to spread the news of hearing, hearing health is really important for everyone. And sometimes we need to find and practice the right, the right words, the right way to say it, and your audiologist can teach you how to do that so people don't turn away from you. Um, you know, it, and I think with age, it becomes even more important to do that checkup at least once a year, at least once a year, so that it, you can continue to take care of that hearing and be able to communicate in, in a good, positive, healthy way. So I think that that becomes one of our gifts as well. So hearing loss, then you become a promoter of go, go to your audiologist, <laughs> please. I'll go with you. I'll take you out to lunch. <laughs> I'll take you to the ice cream parlor. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> so we become promoters. Um, you know, one of the things that happened to me with my hearing loss is that I became very in tune to technology because I wanted to understand how my hearing aids worked. I wanted to understand later on how my cochlear implants worked. <laughs> so I started, I didn't have any interest in technology before then. And now, you know, here at the house, you know, I'll help anybody with any technology issues that they might have. Um, I put on movies and, and whatever, um, Zooms, I'll help people with Zooms. So, you know, I, I have no fear of technology anymore. Uh, I'm pretty good at fixing, you know, one thing or the other. Uh, technology has become my friend, basically. And with my cochlear implants, I enjoy learning, you know, anything I can about the technology and what kind of things will benefit me. Uh, some people, and you know, some people just don't like technology at all and it's a rejection and all that kind of stuff. But in my case, it went the other way. <laughs> I really enjoy technology and the ways technology can help us in, in you know, hearing or communicating or, you know, so I'm really in tune to technology. And I look constantly for new technologies that will help us. So I think that became a new gift that I never would have considered in years past. So I think that with hearing loss, we, we, we get these gifts that, and sometimes we get a gift that we don't realize. Since my hearing loss, X, Y, Z happened. So I think that's, that's a good thing to try to look at yourself in terms of what gifts did you gain with hearing loss? Because some of us might gain something different. You know, perhaps a change in behavior, uh, perhaps uh, a change in, in the way uh, you help other people. Uh, perhaps you became more sensitive, uh, calmer, or, you know, so, so people, or maybe <laughs> more nervous, but, <laughs> but some people get different gifts. In mine, I think the biggest one has been technology, uh, sensitivity to the ground. Uh, you know, the technology piece was one I wasn't expecting at all. <laughs> so... And that one I've enjoyed and tried to really keep it going and continue to learn. I actually, you know, because I use a, a wheelchair too, you'll probably see the back of the wheelchair there. Um, you know, I learn about uh, technology and things that we can do with our wheelchairs, uh, add things and take things off. And um, so I, I like to learn uh, about those things. And that I w never would consider that years back. And I think because of my hearing loss, that got triggered somewhere, somehow. <laughs> so my question to you is, what gifts have you earned or gained since your hearing loss? Sometimes we, 
we get a little crabby about, you know, a loss, but sometimes we also gain something new that we haven't realized. So what gifts have you gained from your hearing loss and how do you how do you how will you care for it? How will you increase it so it's a benefit for yourself and for others? Thank you so much everyone for spending some time with me. Uh, before you go, if you'd like to subscribe completely free and uh, to like or to comment also helps the channel very much. So I would appreciate that and I'll see you in the next video.